A wacky day in the weather department. Very interesting if you're a meteorologist, though. We started with some breaks of sun that happened to come out this morning. But as you know, over the past hour, especially, we've seen some widespread rain. Now, most of this has been on the lighter side, but we have seen some heavier downpours. And I wouldn't be surprised if we still hear a few more rumbles of thunder in some spots, at least in the next hour or so. But temperatures have actually already started to cool down as cold air is coming in behind the system. We're starting to see some snow already showing up on the radar, especially across the higher elevations along those western-facing slopes. And we can expect that full transition to happen gradually as we head into the overnight hours. Luckily, we haven't seen any severe weather today, but winds will be gusty at times as the system is coming through. Even after the rain leaves uh, with the snow, it will remain very windy at times into tonight and into tomorrow. You can see the precipitation on the background there. I'm willing to bet that there's both rain and snow trying to mix together right now on our pipe stem camera. Temperatures right now have continued to drop. Most of us still holding in the 40s, but look at Richlands already has dropped to 36 degrees. So it won't take long for that rain to eventually continue to mix with snow and eventually completely change over to snow into the overnight hours. Now over the next hour or two, it's going to be more of a mixture as the cold air starts to creep in. But you can see this full transition happen by the time we get past sundown, especially toward 10, 11 o'clock. The snow's really starting to pick up across our western facing slopes. Now notice, at first, this snow's not going to stick to the ground because the ground's way too warm. But overnight, temperatures eventually drop into the 20s, and that will allow that snow to better coat those roads, especially into early tomorrow morning. So we've got to be super careful as we head into early tomorrow if you're on the roads. Definitely some slick areas, especially if you're along and west of I-77 and north of the I-64 corridor. Notice tomorrow, most of us see the sun come back out, but it's going to be a cold day. Most of us only in the upper 20s and low 30s. We do see the snow linger longer across the high elevations of western Greenbrier and Pocahontas County. It's not unusual for that area with those very high peaks up near Snowshoe Resort. All in all, we're not looking at an, at an impressive snow for much of the area. Along our western facing slopes, I've kind of got a broad range a trace to two inches. Again, that seems kind of broad, but there's a reason for that. At the low-lying areas, I think a trace to max an inch is going to be likely. But once you get into the higher spots, especially above 3,000 feet, there's a lot of nooks and crannies in here where we could get a couple of inches, if not some locally higher amounts, especially in places like Flat Top, West Virginia, Burke's Garden, Virginia, that sit higher in elevation. You head north of the I-64 corridor, we're looking at anywhere from three to six inches even some higher amounts once you head up near Snowshoe. Some good snow for the ski resort up there for sure. East of I-77, not as much. No snow Monroe, probably living more up to its name uh, this time around. Winter weather advisories in effect for Fayette, Western Greenbrier, Summers, Southeastern Raleigh, Mercer, and Tazewell counties through tomorrow evening. A winter storm warning in effect for Northwest Pocahontas where those higher totals are expected. I do anticipate school delays at the very least into tomorrow. The wind will be the third issue. We've got rain, we've got snow, and we've got the wind. It's already started to get pretty windy out there, and gusts will continue to pick up, especially behind this front tonight. Wind advisories are in effect for Giles Blend with Tazewell counties. Gust in these areas up to 50 miles an hour. Not going to rule out a few down trees or power outages with the wet soil. Be careful if you're driving those high-profile vehicles into the evening, because not only slick roads, will be a concern, but also the wind. Again, poor visibility with that wind blowing the snow around will also be possible. And tomorrow, again, we don't get up there uh, very high. Wind chills, too, will feel lower than that. It's going to feel like it's in the teens, if not the single digits, tonight and much of tomorrow. A few more additional snow showers into Friday, looking very minor, though. Eventually, we warm back up into next week. Melinda, Martin, back to you all. All right. Thank you, Catherine.